the wonderful Robin De Jesus joining me today. The movie is Tick Tick Boom. Thanks for chatting with me today. My pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. So in the movie, you play Michael. He's the best friend of Jonathan Larson, played by Andrew Garfield. And what intrigued me about this character is that in many ways, he is sort of a proxy for the entire queer community in the 1980s and, and indeed to Jonathan's relationship to it. I'm wondering, first of all, do you know, is Michael based on a single person? Is he amalgam, an amalgam of different characters? I, I believe it, it is several people, but there is okay. one particular person who like is the main one of, of the several people, yes. I won't give his name only because I don't know how he feels about that. Okay. I did get to meet him at opening night though, and that was really cool. Oh, that's amazing, that's amazing. So what kind of insight, when, when you're playing a real person like that, what kind of insight does he give you to, to the character? Well, we had a historian on the film, Jennifer Ashley Tepper. Okay. And I've known Jennifer for, for like years. She's a musical theater historian and she's someone who like, she loves uncovering gems from musical theater. She, she'll do posts all the time on like flop musicals and just like telling, <laughs> so that they don't go forgotten in history. And so she was around and she gave us a lot of information. I realized when I met the real Michael that the reason I never reached out to him was because I was in like, I was opening myself to such a sensitive state and I don't think I would have been able, if had I met him, I don't think I would have been able to handle knowing the responsibility I had on, on my plate. And the only reason I could do that was because Steven's script was so good. Like that screenplay was so well written and there was so much information on the page that I could afford to do that. Now, one thing I wanna ask you about, I talked to Andrew about this, but, but one thing that I really identified with where Jonathan is concerned is this idea of the ticking, the idea that he only has so much time and he's not big enough in his career yet. He's not successful enough. Mm. You have a thriving career yourself. You've had a Tony Award nomination. You're in all kinds of movies this year. Tell me about the ticking in your own mind. I mean, where you are in your career, do you still have the impulse of, it's not enough yet. I have to, I have to do more. Yes. I still have that. I got, I mean, like, I, just, I feel like mama Rose, what I got in me, I could have been bigger than any. No, it's not that dark. <laughs> no, but there's definitely like, actually it's, it's, it's actually really cool. You're asking me this because that was what was, was so dope about this experience is no one else was offering me a role like this. I've been like waiting for a bone with some meat on it where I could just eat and no one was feeding me. Yeah. Of course, it took Lin Manuel to be the one to give me that opportunity, and it and it wasn't just given to me either. I had to audition. I had to earn it. But oh, wow. it's because of that man that I got to finally have a full meal. That's that's fantastic. So so obviously you're on a career high right now. What is it when you hear the ticking? What is it in your mind that you haven't done yet that oh, you really yes. want to do? That was the question. <laughs> yes. The ticking for me, I feel like the manifestation of the ticking for me, it's, it's not so much I'm running out of time yeah. as it is, well, what am I doing with my time? Yeah. And like the desire to not waste it, the desire to, to like be a participant in life and to contribute to it. Um, I think especially sometimes I feel like we don't, we don't participate in things because we're too scared of failing. So we just do nothing. And I think, I, I think at this point in my life, I wanna to get to a point where I can embrace failure as long as it means I'm trying to do something of service. I mean, the way you quoted Mama Rose right there, I was thinking you could do Gypsy. I would see it. Let Robin me tell you, that Mama production Rose. of Gypsy would be the most amazing thing you, although I, will, <laughs> although I will say this, I think we've seen enough men play female parts. Like I'm, I, will, I would like to see a female Sweeney Todd maybe. I feel like that would be more oh, wow. revolutionary than my Mama Rose. That would be amazing. I mean, and you could play Mrs. Lovett too. I would pay to see oh, that. Oh, wait, it just got better. And I didn't even realize it. You're <laughs> so right. Mrs. Lovett, that's my typecast right there. There you have it. Robin, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Take care.